الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق وسيد المرسلين محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I bear witness there is no Lord but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad the son of Abdullah is his last messenger and prophet whoever Allah grants guidance will never be misguided and those who Allah has set astray will find guidance nowhere so ever the best words are that of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the holy Quran and the best guidance is guidance of his, last, uh, of his messenger and prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahnu naqussu alayka ahsan al-qasasi bima awhayna ilayka hadha al-Qur'an wa in kunta min qablihi lamin al-ghafilin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the surah Yusuf alayhi salam, the third ayah, we tell, we tell you the best of the stories. And you were before that among the, those who are ghafili. Why didn't I translate it? because it has no translation. Ghafil can be good, can be bad. It's like the word kafir. It's like the word dal. In English language, there is something called subordinate meanings. Means words that have subordinate meanings do not mean much by themselves unless you at Attach them to another word. The word dal, ghafil, Allah described the Prophet that you, in this case, you were ghafil before that. And here the meanings you didn't know, and that's nothing bad. But ghafil can come in a very bad meaning that you are turning your back to things. You turn your back to the message. You turn your back to the Quran. فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ Do not be among the ghafil. Dal. Can be, dal is the one, if you translate it, it means you go astray. But it's wrong translation. That's why I'm telling you so you can watch different translation and be aware. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet, وَوَجَدَكَ ضَالًا فَهَدًا Here, dal is not bad. Here, dal, you just didn't get the message. You're not aware of the Qur'an before the message. So Allah guided you the Qur'an. Also the word kafir. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ سَمْسَكَ بِالْعَرْوَةِ الْوَثْقَ That's good. But if somebody make kufr with Allah, that's bad. <coughs> anyway, uh, it's very important that we investigate the stories of the Qur'an. And I would like you to pay attention because this story is elaborate. And unless you see the depth of the meaning of that story, you will not get what Allah wants you to have. The story I'm going to tell you today, it deals with two issues. The issue of al bath resurrection. Because the children of Israel did not really pay that much attention to the issue of the resurrection. They went ahead and did whatever they wanted, unaware of the watching of Allah. When they were in the depth of their trouble, they 
ask their neighbor the night before they leave Egypt, the neighbor in Egypt, the Egyptians, to lend them their jewelries made of gold. So because they told them we have a big night tomorrow. But in fact, they were decided to leave Cairo for uh, Egypt for good. And they collected that money and they passed through the sea with that money that's stolen from the Egyptians. So Musa told them, Alam yaadkum rabbukum wa'adan hasana afatala alaykum al-ahadu am aradtum an yahilla alaykum ghadabun min rabbikum fa akhlaftum an. Qalu ma akhlaftna maw'idak bimalkina walakin humilna awzara min zinat al-qawm faqadhafna wa kathalika al-khasamiri. We had gold from the Egyptians, so we made a cow out of this. So the story I want to tell you today is the story of the cow. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَنْ تَذْبَحُوا بَقَرَ Musa told his people, Allah command you to slaughter a cow. Why he said that? Because they had a problem of somebody killed somebody else and everybody denying. And Allah wants to bring the issue of his power or unbath how Allah put people to life after death so they become aware and more fearful of Allah. He said, are you mocking us? He said, no. I seek refuge from Allah to be among the jahili, the, the people who are unwise. قَالُوا ادْعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيِّنُ لَنَا مَا هِيَ They said, ask Allah to show what kind of cow. قَالَ إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةٌ لَا فَارِضٌ وَلَا بِكْرٌ عَوَانٌ بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ فَفْعَلُوا مَا تُؤْمَرُونَ It's a cow that its stomach, its womb is not too much loose. In other words, she didn't give birth to so many cows. Neither it is a virgin. So do what you are commanded. They could have done, obeyed the order of Allah and they have done their job. But you know, the children of Israel always argue. Even with Allah. So he said, he says, Allah says, indeed it is a yellow bright color, very bright color cow. And very pleasing when you look at it. قَالَ ادْعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيِّنُ لَنَا مَا هِيَ إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَهَ عَلَيْنَا وَإِنَّ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهَ لَمَهْتُدُونَ They ask him, say, what kind of cow? We are so confused, so many cow with the same description. قالوا قال إنه يقول إنها بقرة لا ذلول لا تسقي الأرض ولا تثير الحرب مسلمة لا شيء فيها. He said he it's a cow that never irrigated fields, never worked, never been used by a farmer, and do not cultivate land does not have any sign on it. Bright yellow with no mark on it. Now it came to their mind, they know a cow like this, they just saw it the night, the, the, the night before. Now you came with the truth, imagine. So they slaughtered the cow. 
here I will stop from the text of the Quran. I will go to the reason behind that story. It's very important when you read a story of the Quran that you know why Allah did that. That's why Quran, the stories in the Quran is not just like any other story. The story came to serve a purpose. To tell you that nothing in ran is random. Nothing is coincidence. Allah planned and designed things from before the creation. Random is something for you and I. But with Allah, there is nothing random. There is nothing coincidence. Everything that happens to you is so planned and designed by Allah. Even a sip of water. The story starts about like 10 years before that. He's a pious man among the children of Israel. And you know, a pious man among the children of Israel is like a jewel in a sand in a big desert. He didn't trust anybody. And he was poor. He only had a little calf, a female cow, newborn female cow. And he was about to die. So he told his wife, he has a child, maybe two years old, maybe ten, five years old, I don't know. I want to make sure my son, when he grows up, he gets that cow. And I can't find anybody that I can trust than Allah. So I'm going to give it to Allah. And he said, Allahumma inni astawdi'uka hadhihi al-baqara liwaladi. Oh Allah, I found nobody to trust but you. I'll give it to you, Allah, save it for my son. And he let it go to the wilderness where it can eat from the green. 10, 12 years later, the son was aware that his father had something for him and he asked his mother, where is the inheritance of my father? She told him, Allah left you a cow. And he left it in the wilderness and get it. The son laughed, you know, in the wilderness. And then the mother with a very serious stone said, Allah entrusted your father and credit to your account with him. So cash on it. Trust Allah and ask him to cash. So he went to the wilderness and called, in the name of Allah, the Lord of Abraham, all this Lord. And he kept praying. And the cow came running to him. And that cow was seen by many people. Nobody could come close to it. So he took the cow and went home. He trusted Allah and Allah was the ultimate trust with him. Took the cow with him. Who saw him? The people who got the description by Musa alayhi salam of the description of that cow and says, this is a very cow. So they came to him. We like to buy this cow. Three dinars. Oh, no, no, no. I have to consult my mother. I would like you to tell you the story of this boy. He used to collect hay from the desert all day, and then he sells it. One third 
of what he sells, uses for his own food. One third for sadaqa, one third he give it to her, his mother. In his nights, he spent one third of the night praying to Allah. One third of his night serving his mother. One third is he sleeps. So he said, no, I'm not going to go to my, uh, he said, uh, he told him, no, don't go to your mother, we'll buy it from you right now. We'll give you six. He said, no, 12, no. And the, and the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the discussion went until they needed it so bad. They said, we will fill it with its volume of gold. Remember, they have the gold from the Egyptian he saw, they made the cow. And when you fill it as a volume, me, because the gold has a density 13 times like water, so it's like 13 worth of cow weight-wise. So they paid him the money. Imagine all the money that was stolen from the Egyptians, it went to a pious man ultimately. See, nothing is random. So they went to the, the they bought the cow. Now we continue the rest of the story of the cow. فَقَالَ اضْرِبُوهُ بِبَعْضِهَا كَذَلِكَ يُحْيِي اللَّهُ الْمَوْتَى وَيُرِيكُمْ مِنْ آيَاتِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ so the Allah told them, take part of that slaughtered cow, maybe the leg or something, and hit the man who was killed, and nobody knows who killed him, and thus Allah resurrects people. They, they, so they took part of that bone, and they hit the dead person, and the person got up and thought and said, who killed him? Now we go to the story of that guy. Among the children uh, of Israel, there was a man, very rich man, and had nobody to inherit him but his cousin. His cousin was poor, like the rest of them was not that good. So he, The cousin said, he's healthy, and I don't know when he's going to die. I'm going to kill him. So he killed him, so he can get the inheritance. And he took him to the nearby tribe, and he put the body there so he can collect the Deya, Deya is the money you get when you kill someone by mistake. You get a lot of money if somebody killed one of your people. So he went to collect his inheritance and also the Deya from the other people. So the other people said, no, we didn't kill the guy. So they went to Musa. And Musa alayhi salam said, that part of the cow. So the man got up, the dead person, and he said, my cousin killed me. Can't get away if you deal with Allah. You can't fool Allah. Allah is your witness all the time, even inside the privacy or bedroom. This is how things happen. Allah is telling us how to resurrect, how he resurrects. Don't ever have a doubt about meeting Allah. Uh, Prophet said, لا يسنحي أحدكم من ملكيه كما يستحي من رجلين صالحين منكم. All of you, each one of you should be beware and ashamed 
if he does bad things from the two angels here, as he ashamed in the presence of two good men, أقول قولي هذا وسأفعل الله لكم. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق وسيد المرسلين محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب ما كان حديثا يفترى ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل كل شيء وهدى ورحمة لقوم يؤمنون الله سبحانه وتعالى said the story of the Quran is only for those who can comprehend at the end of Surah Yusuf, the ayah number 111. It was not a story to be told in vain or entertainment, but came to confirm the messages before. And a detail of everything and guidance and mercy to those who believe. Inna hadha al-Qur'an yahdi lillati hiya aqwam وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا كَبِيرًا Allah said about this Qur'an يَهْدِي بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَيُضِلُّ بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَمَا يُضِلُّ بِهِ إِلَّا الْفَاسِقِينَ This Qur'an, its guidance to everyone is the light that you can see but it guides those who need to be guided and put astray those who love to be astray. Uh, I would like to tell you now that we are in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a month of the heart, not the month of work. When you, taqwa is about taqwa. Taqwa is an act of heart. You, Ramadan came to clean our hearts. Please don't tell me I read the Quran 10 times. Please don't tell me I did this, I did this. I made millions of dollars of salaqa. Tell me when you were sincere with Allah in a moment that nobody watching you and you prostrate and you shed a tear for Allah. So may Allah in the day of judgment make you among those who put him in his shape. Allahumma hadina fi man hadayin wa aafina fi man aafayin wa tawallana Allahumma fi man tawallayin بارك لنا اللهم ربنا الكريم فيما أعطيت واصرف عنا ربنا الحليم شر ما قضيت فإنك سبحانك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك لا يعز من عاديت ولا يذل من واليت تباركت ربنا الكريم وتعاليت لك الشكر والحمد والنعمة على ما نعمت به وأوليت اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا مريضا إلا شافيته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مظلوما إلا نصرته ولا ضالا إلا هديته ولا رحما إلا وصلته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا حاجة هي لك رضا ولنا فيها صلاح من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قضيتها لنا برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا جتنابه وبارك لنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم 
اللهم انصر الاسلام وعز المسلمين واعلي بفضلك كلمتي الحق والدين عباد الله ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اقم الصلاه